Best freaking friends forever. Thank you guys again for tuning in and joining us. If you guys have not subscribed down below, please do join our channel. Come hang out with us. Um, we're today we're going to continue with our 101 Dalmatians week. We're gonna do the live action version now. Um, in honor of Cruella coming out on Friday, the 28th. So the release date for this one was November 27th, 1996. Its budget was $75 million. Opening weekend, it made about $34 million, which with today's inflation is $58 million. In the U.S., it grossed $136 million, which with today's inflation would be $231 million. And then the worldwide, it grossed $321 million, which with, with inflation would be $546. So, I mean, it did pretty well. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, well, I just remember the big hype of it back mm -hmm. when it came out. Well, and Glenn Close was mm -hmm. Cruella, and I know she just got, like, this huge applause for doing the movie. Oh, like, yeah. Well, she, yeah, like, picturing, I don't know if I could picture someone else doing, Meryl like, Street. <laughs> well, yeah. But, I mean, Glenn Close did a very good job. And I'm interested to see on Friday with Cruella what Emma Stone does with it. Because it looks like she has done an awesome job, too. So, it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, I think it's I think we're going to... I think it's going to put Emma back on the map. Because we haven't heard much out of her mm -mm. recently. No, recently. No. And so... Because I know she did Spider-Man. Is that right? She did Spider-Man. And that was just kind of eh. Um... But yeah, I think Cruella is going to put her back on the map for everybody, and I think we're going to start seeing more out of her again, which I'm excited because I I like her. I like her acting. She's just really yeah, she's really good at what she does. But yeah, they had I mean this movie had a pretty good cast. I mean it had Glenn Close, it had Jeff Daniels, it had oh the played Anita Richardson. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean well and Hugh Laurie. And Mr. Weasley from Harry Potter, the dad, the father. Yep. So, yeah, I mean, it, I don't know. I almost feel like those two did a really good job with Horace and Jasper, too. Like, I feel like, and it, I looked, and I was like, you know, because even before I read this, I didn't know this was another John Hughes movie. And we, I was thinking, they remind me of Home Alone's bad guys. Like, yep. they just do. And then I was reading about how, yeah, they kind of are imitating them. And I was like, oh, well, that's, I can see that. Well, yeah, they got electrocuted at the end. And that's like a John Hughes thing. <laughs> yes. He usually has at least one <laughs> electrocution in all of his movies. So that was kind of interesting. Uh, 230 Dalmatian puppies and 20 adult Dalmatians were used during the filming. Mm-hmm. That is a lot of dogs. Well, that's like a lot of... I mean, I guess the, it was the thing where Jeff Daniels would hear sit. Because there were so many trainers and stuff, so he would just sit. <laughs> yeah, I saw that it one got too. To that part. And they had to put... Um, to get them to lick him on cue, they, have to, they would have to rub his face with raw hot dog in order to get the puppies to lick on him. And I'm like, oh, all the time. Like, I'm just like, mm, no. no. But yeah, despite her character's passion for fur coats, Glenn Close insisted her character wear fake fur coats. Well, and she appeared as Cruella in full one when she would go on set as Cruella in the fright wig and the makeup and the costume. One of the dogs playing Purdy repeatedly tried to sneak away. So I guess it was. I mean, it was truly scary mm -hmm. to the, even yeah. the dog. Like they would try to scare, or you know, they would try to get away from her. Yep, she definitely scared me. <laughs> she she did uh, she did really good at this job. I think my favorite outfit I saw her in was the one with the feathers. I really liked that outfit. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, the fashion in this was really fun too. Yeah, I mean it was definitely better than I. Yeah, Cruella's fashion was good. Yeah, and just Anita's. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. 
uh, writer and producer John Hughes made more money from this movie than any other movie in his career because his contract gave him a piece of the merchandise profits. I thought that was really cool that he got some of that because that doesn't seem like a normal thing mm-hmm. that you would get merchandise profit. And there was a lot of merchandising with these movies, I think. So he probably oh. did get, yeah, so he probably did get a pretty chunk. Yeah, I'll be interested to see what kind of merchandise they come. I know Disney's come out with some stuff already for Cruella. Uh, I'm kind of excited to see what they'll do with her. Mm-hmm. Yep. And merchandise. Uh, the two movies that the original puppies are watching on television are The Aristocrats, that came out in 1970, and Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey, it came out in 1993. Both are Disney movies. Mm-hmm. Oh, Homeward Bound. <laughs> oh, that's, so, that's a sad movie. Well, and they played the sad part, and they had the older dog that helped them. He was kind of limping and bringing, what, Lucky back, right? Because Lucky got left behind. I mean, I, I don't know. I really like just Jeff Daniels in general in this movie. Like, I just, I don't know. I think he just did a really good job with his comedic timing. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, like when Hit Pongo takes off at the beginning, when he's looking for his mate, like he did in the, fir- the original, and he runs him into the pond. Yeah. And he's going to get Pongo, and he ends up getting Purdy, and she's, she hits him with her purse, and Nita does. Because <laughs> he's trying to steal Purdy and thinks it's Pongo. Yeah. Which, I don't think we mentioned this in the first movie, or the original one, but like I guess they're they're wearing different collars. Like all the girl dogs are wearing a certain color, and then the boy dogs... The females always wear blue. The males always wear red. And Pongo kind of hides behind Anita. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then it's just so funny that um, he they go they go back to his place, right, to dry off and whatever. And they notice the dogs. Like, how are they going to separate the dogs? And then he's like, would you like a cup of marriage? I was like, whoa, wait a minute. You just met this lady today and you want to marry her today? And we had to see the wedding, which is really cute. And then the dogs getting married, too. You know, the storyline follows fairly simmer- similar to the original. Mm-hmm. They do yeah. change a few little things here and there. But I think it does. they did pretty well staying true to the, the roots. Well, and I think Glenn Close did try to take some of the lines from the original. I mean, obviously. Well, yeah, because she them. said that um, she was quoted saying... That she didn't think Corella was evil enough. And so she did start taking some stuff from the original because she just felt that it was, well, there's a lot of lines that she says, like, uh, uh, smash him in the head. I don't care how you do it. That whole line that she says, that's from the original. Well, and chow, chow, when she leaves. And her laugh. Yeah. Just the evil cat. Well, I don't even know if you'd consider it a cackle, but, like, just the laugh. I mean, she. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she nailed it for sure. She nailed that character. She did. Well, just how evil she was at the end when she's talking to the animals when they've got her down and beat, basically. And she's like, oh, I've got them. You guys think you've won. And I mean, she's talking to animals. Like, and she is telling them they've lost and she's won. And she sees the puppies and she's going to go get them. And yeah, lo and behold, I think the horse takes care of that. <laughs> <laughs> at the end yeah well and this movie's a little darker because they bring in skinner mm-hmm. which we didn't see in the original one or the 1961 version which was kind of interesting because i mean they're going to be skinned like well even his story is you know he tells them don't talk don't like bring attention to his scar because he was attacked by a dog before right mm-hmm. and he had this horrible scar he couldn't speak uh, well, they even have him attacked again at the end, and we see, like, the shadow in the background where he's being attacked. Mm-hmm. He did survive, though, because we do see him at the end again. Yeah, because they're getting taken to jail, and that's when they all get skunked. Well, and just them killing the tiger. Yeah. I well, mean, that I was, was in the... I was like, man, I'm surprised they put that, like... I'm surprised PETA didn't get after that. I mean, even though, obviously, it wasn't real, but, like, even... Yeah. Well, they talk about it in the beginning. We see it. Um, Anita is watching TV, and they're yeah. talking about the tiger. And then um, Roger sees it. And it's in the paper he's reading. Yeah. And so we get to see what actually. She's the one that 
she's the reason why the tar- the tiger had come up missing. Yeah, because she cut. She gets the coat or whatever. So obviously, we know she'll do anything for her coats. Obviously, I mm-hmm. mean to take an endangered animal. That might be my favorite scene where the the dogs in the background they're watching the video game being played and the dogs are like swaying. How did they get that many dogs to do that? Think about that. That's impressive. Well trained dogs. That's all I can say. Especially probably lots of, lots, lots of treats. Yeah, probably lots and lots of treats and probably nothing else going on on set other than. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's. Uh, I mean, it's one thing to have one dog or any animal do what you like one to do what you want them to do. But like you said, to get all of them to do it at the same time like that. I mean, you do wonder how many takes it took. Mm-hmm. To, well, to there's, get- there's the scene where they throw the pup down the chute, but you mm-hmm. can tell that's all CGI. That's not real. Well, they they which it was kind of like they wanted to take out the cow scene in the cartoon. In the original. And they brought it back for this one. We see it again. Yeah. And like we talked about the whole. At the end of this. At the end when they're on the. the well you said the plantation. The Dalmatian plantation. Oh and yeah. The we grandkids. Just- yeah the grandkids. You know basically the grand dogs. And the great grand dogs. And all of them around. And they've got a. I mean so I'm assuming that Roger's game took off. Mm-hmm. So that's where they got a lot of money for that. And maybe Anita did well in her. I mean, A, to afford that big of a house and land. I mean, granted, they're in England. But still, that's a pretty decent-sized house and land. And to have that many dogs. And keep them all. Like, where do they all stay? Right. I mean, where do you put them all? I, I just know. think of the smell. <laughs> well, that too. I mean, yeah. yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't understand yeah, because I mean, you'd have to poop scoop. You'd have to your mm-hmm. yard with that many. I mean, you'd have. <laughs> I just don't know why they didn't get them fixed. That was well, that's the first thing I'd have been working towards is getting like one by one least, getting. Yeah, at least a little. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she, well, in this one, um, they have a baby of their own, which they don't mm-hmm. talk about in the original. Um, Mm -hmm. And then at the end, she has news for him. So I took it that she's pregnant again. Oh, yeah. That's what I took it as, too. Yep. Yeah. So have all these puppies running around, all these babies. Yep. Two babies, I think, because I don't think I think she'd had one. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, he had to be making some pretty good money with his video game. That was... 101 Dalmatians from 1996 with Glenn Close. I feel like she kind of made the movie Mm -hmm. with her acting in this. Um, But let us know what you think. Do you think Emma Stone is going to do better? Have you seen I think it came out today. Like it's available all day on Disney Plus. Corella is that is. I think she's I think that movie is available all day Friday today. Because we'll put this out on Friday. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. So, (laughs) (laughs) so let us know. uh, Do you think that she'll surpass Glenn Close? I know it's going to be a hard. She's a hard act to follow. Yeah, from what I see, though, she. Yeah, she's doing uh, just from the previews I've seen. She looks like she's doing a pretty good job. But let us know Uh, if you'd like us to cover Corella. Let us know that too. I'd be fine with that if Shelly's fine with that. Um, we would be fine with covering it. So let us know. Um, but until next time, I am Tiffany. This is my BFFF Shelly. Join us next time, friends, for another great episode.